The James Webb Space Telescope has confirmed the Hubble tension, a baffling discrepancy in how we measure the universe's expansion rate. This means the universe is expanding faster than we thought, and our current models of cosmology might be missing a crucial piece of the puzzle. Could it be new physics, early dark energy, or something entirely unexpected? In this video, we'll dive into what the telescope discovered, why it's so important, and what it could mean for the future of cosmology. The Hubble tension refers to the inconsistency between two primary methods of measuring the universe's expansion rate, known as the Hubble constant. One method involves observing local celestial objects, such as sea feed variables, and type 1 a supernovae, to determine distances and calculate the expansion rate. The other method uses data from the cosmic microwave background, CMB, the afterglow of the Big Bang to predict the expansion rate based on early universe conditions. Ideally, both methods should yield the same Hubble constant value. However, local measurements consistently suggest a higher expansion rate than CMB-based predictions, leading to the Hubble tension. With its superior resolution and sensitivity, the James Webb Space Telescope aimed to re-examine the data, hoping to resolve the tension. Over two years, it conducted extensive observations, focusing on sea feed variables and type 1 a supernovae in various galaxies. The goal was to measure distances with unprecedented precision and verify the accuracy of previous data. The results were compelling. Webb's measurements aligned closely with those of the Hubble Space Telescope, confirming that the universe is expanding approximately 8% faster than predictions based on early universe models. This agreement effectively rules out the possibility that the Hubble tension arises from measurement errors in the local universe. Instead, it suggests that our current cosmological models might be missing a crucial component. As Adam Rees, a Nobel laureate in physics and lead author of the study, stated, yes, it appears there is something missing in our understanding of the universe. This realization propels the scientific community to explore new theories that could account for the unexpected expansion rate. Let's discuss deeper details. The team's research using Webb covered about a third of the full sample of galaxies, as seen by Hubble using the galaxy Messier 106M106, also known as NGC4258, and located around 23 million light years away in the constellation Canes Venetius, a reference point. The galaxies observed by the Webb yielded a Hubble constant of, of around 162,400 miles per hour per megaparsec, equivalent to 72.6 kilometers per second per megaparsec, nearly identical to the value of 162,849 miles per hour per megaparsec. 72.8 kilometers per second per megaparsec, found by Hubble for the same galaxies. These results are opting scientists to think about several hypotheses. One of them involves early dark energy, EDE. This theory posits that a form of dark energy existed in the early universe, influencing its expansion rate. Unlike the dark energy we associate with the universe's current accelerated expansion, EDE would have been active only during a specific epoch, causing a brief period of rapid expansion. This early acceleration could lead to a smaller sound horizon, the scale over which density fluctuations in the early universe were correlated, resulting in a higher Hubble constant value inferred from CMB data. The discovery also suggests that the laws of gravity may differ on cosmological scales from those described by Einstein's theory of general relativity. Adjusting the gravitational framework could alter the universe's expansion history, potentially resolving the Hubble tension. For instance, certain models propose modifications to the gravitational field equations, leading to changes in the predicted expansion rate. Additionally, some theories consider the role of dark radiation or sterile neutrinos, hypothetical particles that interact only through gravity. The presence of such particles in the early universe 
could increase the overall energy density, affecting the expansion rate and leading to a higher Hubble constant value observed today. Incorporating early dark energy requires fine-tuning its properties to match observations without disrupting other well-established cosmological phenomena. Modifying gravity necessitates a departure from general relativity, a theory that has withstood extensive experimental scrutiny. Introducing new particles like sterile neutrinos demands evidence for their existence, which has so far remained elusive. Before these recent discoveries, some scientists hypothesized that the discrepancy in the Hubble constant might be explained by the KBC void, a massive underdensity of matter in our local region of the universe. The idea was that if we live in a cosmic void, the local measurements of expansion could appear faster due to the reduced gravitational pull of surrounding matter. We discussed it in detail in a previous video, link in description. Gravitational waves, ripples in spacetime caused by cataclysmic events like binary neutron star mergers, serve as standard sirens. These signals provide a direct measurement of distance, free from many of the biases associated with traditional methods like sea feed variables or supernovae. By integrating gravitational wave data with electromagnetic observations, scientists hope to achieve a third perspective on the Hubble tension. The Hubble tension also raises questions about the universe's earliest moments. The period of cosmic inflation, a rapid expansion that occurred fractions of a second after the Big Bang, set the stage for the universe's large-scale structure. Current inflationary models predict a certain rate of expansion and distribution of matter, but the Hubble tension suggests these predictions might require revision. Modifications to inflationary theories such as multi-field inflation models or non-standard reheating scenarios could provide a framework to reconcile the tension. The cosmic microwave background, CMB, the faint afterglow of the Big Bang, has long been a cornerstone of cosmology. Observations by the Planck satellite have provided high-precision data, but they also reveal anomalies that challenge the standard model of cosmology. Features like the axis of evil, a peculiar alignment of temperature fluctuations suggests the early universe might not conform to standard assumptions. If unexpected features like primordial magnetic fields or variations in fundamental constants influence the expansion rates, JWST's findings could bridge these gaps. What makes the Hubble tension particularly intriguing is how it intersects with these related discoveries. Gravitational waves offer a fresh perspective Revisiting cosmic inflation challenges our understanding of the universe's infancy, and CMB anomalies suggest deeper issues with the standard model. Together, these threads form a tapestry of interconnected questions, each pointing toward the need for new physics to explain the universe's true nature. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this exploration into the universe's mysteries, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Stay curious, and we'll see you next time.